hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is gonna be on how I made this braided headband so this headband is currently trending now so if you're interested in learning how I made it please make sure you keep on watching so for the purpose of this tutorial I use a satin fabric on unfold the fabric is 18.5 inches long and the width is 4.5 inches I have three pieces of the longer piece for the smaller piece, it is 6 inches long and about 5 inches wide. So what I'm going to do now is to fold the longer piece into two and stitch it together by a quarter inch all the way from this end down to the other end of the fabric. So whatever I do to the first piece, I will do the same thing to the remaining two pieces, okay? So for the smaller piece of the fabric, I will also go ahead and fold it into two and stitch it together by half an inch and after stitching the fabric together I went ahead to turn them inside out and as you can see the seam lines are all facing upwards I'll be making use of this fiber to fill up the longer pieces of my fabric I guarantee you this is time consuming so you just have to sit back and take your time and enjoy the process so I'll just go ahead and fill the first one up and once I'm done filling the first one up I will do the same thing for the remaining two pieces so as you can see I'm using my scissors to adjust the fillings so I'll just take my time and fill all the pieces so once I'm done this is what I have so right here is the seam line of the first um, fabric so I would place the second one in the same direction then for the third one, I would face the seam line in the opposite direction, like this. And once I'm done, I would stitch the three pieces together by half an inch right here. After stitching, you can see how it looks like, so I'll go ahead and start braiding them together. You can ask someone to help you um, to hold the end of the fabric if it's impossible for you to do it alone. At this point, all I did was to just... Um, put the fabrics in between my legs and braid it together since I had no one to help me So I'm just gonna take my time adjust it and make sure that as you braid the seam lines are not on the center of the headband Make sure that the seam lines are along the two sides of the headband So I'll just braid to the end and once I'm done I would place the ends of the three strands together like this and I'll go ahead and stitch them together by a half inch seam allowance. So after stitching, this is what the both end looks like. So I would bend them together like this and I will take this to my sewing machine and stitch. If it's too heavy for your sewing machine, please use needle and thread. So after sewing, this is what I have. I would bring the smaller piece like this and place it over the end of the headband like this. You can see that the seam line is facing upwards, so I'll go ahead and stitch the smaller piece together by half an inch. So after stitching, I went ahead to trim off the excess fabric around that area, so I'll go ahead and flip the smaller piece this way. Make sure that the side seam of the smaller piece goes inside the headband. So this is what I have, you can see the side seam right there. This is what the back looks like. So guys, this brings us to the end of this video. So easy and fast. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't.